Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today we are going to make a dragonfly wing paperweight. Don't worry, no dragonflies were harmed in the making of this video. So to make this paperweight, I have this ice cube making mold, but I'm only using the bottom. And these are nice because they're shiny inside, so anything I put in there, when I take it out, it's going to be shiny too. So I have the dragonfly wing, which uh, my nephew Alex just happened to find. I can't remember if it was in his car or something. There was no other part of the dragonfly, just the wing. I think his dad told him that it signifies change, which could be pretty exciting. So he found it and he asked me um, if I would put it in a paperweight. And of course, absolutely I'll put it in a paperweight. But I've been struggling with it because I was afraid that if I just put it in the resin, it would you would lose it and you wouldn't be able to really see the beauty of it and it would just blend in. So I talked to, to Alex about it a little bit and he agreed to let me put a little bit of color on it. And I'm going to use my Mod Podge, my Super Gloss Mod Podge, and I'm going to use a blue pigment powder. So I have a little bit of Mod Podge on my parchment paper. I don't need much at all. And I'm going to use some of these pigment powders um, and mix it in there. And I don't need very much. I want to just give the dragonfly wing a tint, but I don't want to overwhelm it. And I'm being very careful when I'm dipping it in here, so I'm not leaving any of the Mod Podge behind. I think I'm going to go with this side. And I'm just going to kind of gently paint it on there. I just want to give it a tint, and I don't want to ruin this very delicate wing. And it might end up taking a couple of coats, and I'll let it dry, and if I think it needs a little bit more um, after it dries, then I'll just, I'll just add another coat to it, another coat or two. While the dragonfly wing is drying, I have mixed some Easy Cast, and I'm going to pour it in here just to kind of give it a base. You probably maybe need a half an ounce, maybe less. I'm going to pop it with the bubbles with my lighter, and I'm just going to set it aside. And I'll let this sit probably at least 12 hours, and then I'll come back. Um, and in the meantime, I can work on the wing a little bit more. I have Alex's dragonfly wing here, and it is dried, and I did seal it um, on the other side also with the Mod Podge. So hopefully it's sealed. And I'm going to just add a little more Easy Cast, just a very thin layer. And I'm going to pop the bubbles. I'm going to let it sit for a couple more minutes, make sure I get all the bubbles popped. Okay, now I'm going to take the wing and I'm going to place it in here pretty gently. I'll drip some more resin over it, just so it's sealed on both sides. I figured it was going to float, so I didn't want to fill this up anymore. Okay, so I'll let that sit. Hit it with our lighter every once in a while, just to make sure um, we're getting the bubbles, and then we'll come back. I have a little more Easy Cast mixed, and I'm going to pour just a very thin layer, just to make sure the whole thing is embedded, because remember it floated just a little bit. Then I'll hit it with my lighter and just set it aside. All we need to do now is let that set a little bit, and, and we can do our background color. There's a dragonfly wing, and now we just need to give it a background. And I debated different colors, and I ultimately decided on the macro pearl white um, to do it because things show up better on it than if I were to go dark, I'd be afraid that it would all get lost. So I've mixed some more of the Easy Cast. I'm going to mix some of the pigment powder in here. Though this still has that beautiful metallic look to it. And I can add just a very small touch of this greenish to it, just to give it a, a little slight tint. All right, so there we have it. I'm going to pour it on here. Pop the bubbles with your lighter. Let everything cure. And then we'll take it out when it's all finished. We'll give it at least 12 hours before that happens. Finally, we get to unmold the dragonfly wing. I've gotten a couple green spots where the pigment powder didn't quite mix. Um, so that's a little disappointing, but overall, I think it looks really pretty and the wing is shimmery and everything. So not perfect. You can see it from the side. Looks pretty cool. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to subscribe if you haven't yet so you don't miss a thing. And remember, if you are working on anything, share those projects over on my Facebook page so everybody can see them. And that is facebook.com slash craftclutch1. Don't forget the one at the end of Craft Clutch. So I'll definitely see you next time. In the meantime, 
Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe.